Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Today I'm sharing some cards I made using Paper Rose Studios Home for Christmas collection. There are three different six by six paper pads that all coordinate together. And they also have the 12 by 12 version if you prefer the larger paper. So we have the original Home for Christmas, there's the patterns and also the plaids. And I will be using all three of the collections for my cards. If you are interested in any of the products I use in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. For card design number one, I selected a pattern paper that has both of these designs on it, but it's a full six by six size. So I did trim it down to fit on an American standard A2 size card. I'll layer both of those papers on some dark green cardstock, then add my card front onto a card base. To fill in the gap between those two pattern papers, I'm adding a thin strip of rose gold mirror cardstock. And I did put some double-sided tape on the back to adhere it to my card. For the sentiment, I'll be adding the word believe, and this is from Paper Rose's Believe Layered Die Set. It has the word and also that outline piece. I cut out the word believe from the same dark green cardstock, and the outline I used some white shimmer cardstock. Just glue those two pieces together using some liquid adhesive. And I'll also be stamping the word rejoice right above believe. I'm using my mini Misty since I'll be stamping directly onto my card. And the stamp set is from Paper Rose. It's their Christmas sentiment set. I will ink it up just a few times to get a good solid impression. Then I'll put some liquid adhesive on the back of the word believe and adhere it underneath the word rejoice. To finish off the card, I'm adding some clear crystals from Paper Rose. I'll add two in the upper right hand corner and three around the sentiment. I'm using an embellishment wand to pick up the crystals, then adding just a small drop of Barely Art liquid glue. Then I can press those crystals in place and the glue will dry clear. So there is my finished card and I did make a total of three using this design. The six by six paper collections have three each of 12 designs, so it's easy to make multiples of the same card. Here's the Christmas sentiment stamp set I'll be using on several of the cards in this video. It's an older set, but it is still available. Now moving on to card design number two. I will be using a card sketch for inspiration. This is from Sketch Saturday, it's number 666. For this card, I selected three different pattern papers, one from each of the six by six paper pads. I have these fun wooden looking trees for the background, some green plaid paper for that wider piece. And for that last piece, I have a tone on tone pattern from the Home for Christmas collection. On the card sketch, there's a stitch design. I'll be adding a narrow strip of green pearlescent cardstock. Just glue that in place using some liquid adhesive. Instead of using a die to cut the very end of this tone on tone pattern, I'm using my scissors. If you have a die in that shape, that will make it easier, but you can also just cut it yourself. I'll layer this background piece on some dark brown cardstock, then I'll put my card front onto a card base. All of my cards in this video are American Standard A2 size, four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. For the sentiment on my card, I'm adding one of the cut aparts that's included in the original Home for Christmas collection. I did layer it on some white pearlescent cardstock first. Then to finish off the card, I'll add a few green enamel dots. So there is my finished card and I did make three using this design. I did use different cut aparts for each of the cards. For card design number three, the card sketch is from Mojo Monday. This is sketch number 535. For this card, I'm also using three different pattern papers, one from each of the six by six paper pads. For the background, I have this fun design with the little houses and trees and stars. Then I added a narrow strip of the light green plaid pattern paper. I also added a panel of light blue wood grain pattern paper. And I did layer that piece on some blue cardstock. For the very background, I layered it on a light brown cardstock. For the sentiment, I'm adding Merry Christmas and I'm stamping it directly onto that blue wood grain pattern paper. 
I'll use my Mini Misty to make sure to get a solid impression. The ink color is by Katherine Pooler. This is her Over Coffee. The ink does look fairly dark right now, but it does lighten. Paper Rose Pattern Paper does have a slight glossy finish, so if you are stamping on it, make sure your ink isn't going to smudge. You may need to do some heat embossing or heat set it. With the Katherine Pooler ink, it dried right away, so I didn't have to worry about it smearing. Next, I'll add a stitch circle die cut. I used some white shimmer cardstock for that. Before adhering it to my card, I did put some scrap cardstock just on the upper area. That way everything stays nice and level. Then I'll adhere it to the card using some liquid adhesive. For images on my card, I'm using Paper Roses Scandi Ornaments die set. I have two of the houses. The brown cardstock is the same color I use for my background layer. I want to add just a little more color, so I'm using the Over Coffee ink color and adding just a tiny bit to the outside edge of each of the houses. Then I'll glue them onto my stitch circle die cut using liquid adhesive. Instead of leaving the center of the houses blank, I use some green and blue cardstock to add the star and the heart. And I'll adhere all of the die cut pieces using some liquid adhesive. For this star, the points are not all the same size. There's only one direction where it actually fits in place. So I did rotate my card around until I found that perfect position. To finish off the card, I added some silver gem stickers and also put just a little bit of glitter sparkle to the star in the heart using a clear glitter brush. So there is my finished card. And again, I did make three using this design. This is one of my favorite cards from the whole set. I love the colors and those little houses are adorable. But do let me know which card is your favorite. Now moving on to card design number four. For the background, I have some pine cones and pine tree branches. I'll be adding a large stitched banner die cut and I cut that out from some solid white cardstock. I'll layer the background on some dark brown cardstock, then add my card front onto a card base. For the image on my card, I use Paper Roses Stitching Tree Die, and I cut it out from the green plaid pattern paper. Paper Rose recently released a whole line of fun stitching dies. So these are perfect if you love to add that stitch detail using some thread or embroidery floss. Now I don't do any of that stitching. The detail work strains my eyes too much, but this die still works on its own without that stitch detail. For the sentiment on my card, I'm using two different die sets. One cuts out the word Mary and the other cuts out the word Christmas. And both of them include that layered background. And just to save time on the video, I've already adhered those together. I also put some foam dimension on the back side so I could pop those up. Just remove the release paper and adhere the sentiment toward the lower portion of my Christmas tree. I also cut out a red bird using the Scandi Ornaments die set. And instead of inlaying the little heart, I simply glued a scrap piece of white shimmer cardstock on the back side of the bird. And I did pop up the bird using some foam dimension. Next, I'm adding a couple of small banners, and I use the Banner One Large die set from Paper Rose. I have one cut out from green cardstock and the other from the brown. They are the same size, I simply trim them down. And I'll adhere those in the upper right hand corner. I did add some small scrap cardstock pieces before adhering the brown banner in place. For embellishments on my card, I'm using some more of the clear crystals. Add two of them in the upper right hand corner and three of them around the sentiment. There are four different sizes of crystals included in the mix. I like to use one of the smaller sizes. For a final finishing touch, I'm using a white gel pen and adding some highlights to the red bird and also the sentiment. This will help it stand out just a little bit more. And there is my finished card. Again, I did make three using this design. This is another favorite card of mine. I really like that pop of red with the green and brown background. For card design number five, I'm using a card sketch for inspiration. This is from Mojo Monday. It's sketch number 547. 
And if you are interested in any of the card sketches I use in this video, I share all of that information on my coordinating blog post. That link is provided in the description box below, or you can simply head over to christymarcotte.com. For this card, I have some craft cardstock for the background, adding a panel of the pine branches. For that narrow strip on the left side, I'm using a soft orange plaid paper. Before adhering that in place, I will put some scrap cardstock and also some scrap pattern paper on the very ends. And that will help keep this strip at the same level as the pine branch pattern paper. If I don't add those scrap pieces, there will be a noticeable dent on the very end of the orange plaid paper. Next, I'll add one of the cut aparts from the original collection. This was a square cut apart. I used one of Paper Rose's stitch circle dies to cut that out. And just for a little extra stability, I cut out a second circle the same size and glued the two pieces together. And I put liquid adhesive on the back and adhered it to my card. For this sentiment, I've already stamped out Merry Christmas. On the very right side, I did cut the end at an angle. Then I'll adhere it in place using some liquid adhesive. For the banner in the upper right hand corner, I'm using the same dark brown color and I'll adhere that in place using liquid adhesive. Then to finish off the card, I'll add some more of the clear crystals. I'll add two of them on the brown banner, two in the lower left hand corner and one above the Merry Christmas sentiment. And there is my finished card. This time I made a total of four using this sketch. For two of the cards, I used the orange wreath cut apart, and for the other two, I have a wreath with some wooden or brown stars in it. I also used different pattern paper for the background. Now here's another look at the 16 cards I made using Paper Rose Studios Home for Christmas collection. There are three different six by six paper pads that all coordinate together, and I mixed and matched those for all of my cards. If you are interested in any of the products I use in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. This collection is also available in the 12 by 12 size, so if you prefer the larger size, that is an option. Paper Rose is located in Australia and they do ship their products worldwide, but you can also purchase their products here in the US. And I do have links for both locations in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.